If your wife has pulled back from the relationship, she's wanting space. Maybe she doesn't know if she wants to be with you anymore. Maybe she has said, I am done. Then I want to give you three ways that you can alleviate the pain you're feeling when she pulls back. Garrett Prettyman here at Garrett Prettyman Coaching. I work with men every day on this stuff with relationships because it's something I've walked in my own life. You know, when we're in that season, when she says, I want a divorce, we're suddenly hit with a massive amount of pain. I know that blood curdling, gut gnawing, shortness of breath, tightness in the lungs, all of that is hitting our body. And our first response is we want the pain to stop. And what logically makes sense is if she would just come back in the relationship, I would feel better. But guess what, brother? Love is the glue that keeps a relationship together. And love is to accept something. Love is not to say, you need to get back in here so that my happiness can come back. And so we need to look at ourselves and see what is it that makes happiness in us in the first place. On like a scientific level, happiness is what you feel when your ego is full and complete and secure. But I want you to think of your ego like an orange. It might look like a complete ball at first sight, but it's actually made up of numerous wedges that go into it. Now, if you were triggered hearing the word ego, it may be because you're used to somebody saying, look at that egotistical asshole. <laughs> like in a negative sense. But understand that without a feeling of identification, there's no way you can belong to something. There are sources of happiness in your life that your wife did bring in. Your wedge in the orange was placed there as she showed up and provided certain things in your life. It's in the human nature to really feel secure when you have an identification to something. There's a place that you belong. I'm now going to give you three ways to help with that pain. Starting at the top with number three, stop holding your wife responsible for your happiness. That is not something she was designed to do. We may have assumed that coming into life because there was always somebody else that provided the paycheck, somebody else that provided the meal, somebody else that we were raised under, even as children. And we look up to other people for certain things. But we are now adult men. We are responsible to create whatever we want, including our happiness. If you're holding your wife responsible for your happiness, that is the opposite of love. Remember, love is acceptance. Whatever colors, flavors, or versions of her that emerge, if they don't match the version of her you have in your own head, you're feeling your own pain. You're not feeling or accepting who she really is. Acceptance is always the path forward back to happiness. Number two, routines make up a full, complete, secure sense of ego. This happens on microscopic levels without us even realizing it. The fact that you've got up, you're used to seeing her toothbrush next to yours. You're used to seeing her car on that side of the driveway. You're used to breakfast being at this time and the trash goes out on Wednesday. Like all that little stuff that's happening in your life is actually what makes you feel safe, secure, and okay. Even if it's toxic. See, the subconscious is familiar with the toxic patterns. Maybe an abusive parent. Maybe. A, an abusive boss, like whatever dynamic is not healthy, your body gets used to it being the norm though. And it would, will actually gravitate towards it because we're scared in the absence of something that completed our ego, that orange slice that was put in there. We'd rather have something there than nothing. So when you're doing this development as a man, we're identifying what orange slices were actually toxic that we need to put a different one in there? And what orange slices have we been handing to our wife to put in there that we need to become self-reliant in? When she removes herself from your life, it is calling forth for you to establish new routines so that you can relax. You need to have a plan for what my morning looks like, what I'm going to be doing over lunchtime, who I'm going to connect with today. Everything in your life needs to be chosen intentionally as you create a new rhythm, a new routine. You might roll over in bed and where she used to sleep, she's no longer there. Boom, you're feeling that, that pain or that loneliness. That's just your ego noticing a fracture in the routine. Number one, we need to find new sources of identification. 
This is probably going to be in some kind of social dynamic. There's a group you belong to, some men that you connect with, or maybe a hobby that you surround yourself with others in. There needs to be something you identify with because before you identified as this is me and this is my partner and this is our relationship and this is our lifestyle. That has now been removed. That orange slice is taken away. Your ego feels the fracture. It's desperately wanting to close back up and so you can be secure again. And when you can identify with something, it gives you that sense of security. Some men go in the military. They like that sense of I belong to this group and for this cause. Some men become more entrepreneurial and they design a business or a, a movement that they identify with as I'm the man who's invented this. Like there needs to be something you identify with. Right now, at least, it's not your relationship or you as a couple or that I have a marriage. That's on the rocks. Now, our logical man brain, again, is thinking, well, let's get it off the rocks and then the problem will be fixed. That's not necessarily the answer. We don't know what she's going to do. Whatever version of her emerges is going to be what it is. But right now, in this moment, our body is calling out to us saying, hey, what, what is the identification we even have as a man? Who are you? That's a question that only you can answer. She can't give you that answer. When I'm working with men in my masculine confidence framework, I'm helping them get razor sharp on their non-negotiable terms, on their boundaries, how to show up with your values. Because I'm not teaching guys how to just sit back and let women plow them flat as they do what they do. There are hills we're willing to die on and there's hills we're not willing to die on. A lot of the clarity that you're seeking right now of are you in or out? Do you love me or not love me? These are areas that we need to get clearer on so that we can make clear choices going forward and the pieces can fall where they may. If you'd like to reach out, I'd be glad to get on the phone with you and have a consultation where we can discuss your situation and get you clear on what your next step should be to bring that sense of security and confidence, charisma, where your ego is no longer fractured. All right. Till next week, brothers. Take care. Mm -hmm.